So in previous lecture, we discussed some basic file and directory management commands, which included creating directories, creating files, removing directories and files, and copying and moving directories, changing directories, so all of that. So uh, one command which we studied was, uh, studied was cat command. Right? Cat command command is used to create a file. So let's create a file first. So what do I have here? Okay, so we created this directory in the last tutorial. So I'm switching to this directory first today. LS. So this directory contains three directories, one, two, and three. This is displayed in alphabetical order, so that is why it is displaying three first and two later. So one, two, and three, three directories are there. Now cat command is used to create a file. So let's create a file first. Cat and then file. Hello and ls. So this is the file that we have. Now what is the behavior of cat command actually? It would do not specify any name of the file or you do not specify any redirection operator along with cat command. Then cat this thing we enter. So what it is doing, the carrot is blinking right in front of us and it is asking for the input. If we enter some data, it will display the same thing again. If I write hello, hello, hi, hi, contents. So what it is doing, it is basically getting the input from standard input device which is the keyboard and displaying the input, displaying the output on the standard output device which is the screen, which is the, uh, which is the monitor. So when I am done with this, I press ctrl D and I get the shell again. So this is the thing which we use as a shortcut to create a file. What we do, we write cat and we use this redirection operator and we give the name of any file that means we get the data from standard input device but instead of displaying it on the screen keep on redirecting it into the file so when you press enter it takes the contents it takes the data but it is not displaying it on the screen again it is taking it and redirecting it into the file so when you press ctrl D it stores everything into the file so if I write cat space file it displays the same thing again so this is what cat command does basically so this thing we use to create the file right similar way is touch command one more command which is touch command it is also very handy and it is used to create a file so if you write touch and name of any file so before running this command I am just displaying you what, what I have in this directory so it contains 1, 2, 3 and a file right so if you write touch and anything so I am writing file 2 ls what it does it just created a file and if you write cat file 2 what it has it has nothing you can store data in this file also later on if you write cat file 2 hello now this file contains hello right so touch command I used as a shortcut to create a file to create an empty file now if we go into the detail what this command does touch command if you write ls space hyphen l, we know that it displays us the long listed information of files and directories. So it contains, this folder contains these directories and these two files. Right, these two files are just created and the time is 12.12. 12. It's midnight, 12.13 and this is the timestamp attached with this direct these directories right so if i write touch space file 3 14 right if i write touch space 1 
see what I am doing. I am going to touch this directory which is already existing. So what it will do if I write touch phase 1 and then I am long listing the contents. Touch command actually touches a file or a directory. Means it is used to change the timestamp of a file or a directory. So if you use this command with a directory or a file which is already existing, then its timestamp is updated. See, so one directory was already existing and I touched that directory right, right now. So it is displaying that one directory is now touched and its timestamp is updated. Right. So if you touch the file one file one was not existing earlier. We had file, we had file two and file three. File one was not existing. So it is a new file which is created and its timestamp is the current timestamp which is that is attached. Right. Right. So this tutorial was basically to clear the difference between cat and touch command and their origin that how they are used and what they actually do. Right. Thank you.